Have a great day. A suspect is dead and an officer severely wounded after a shootout right outside the La Habra police station. KKL 9's Joy Benedict is live in La Habra with the latest. Good morning, Joy. Good morning, Tina. Yeah, certainly a very frightening situation for many here in this neighborhood. As the gunfire exchange, the shootout happened right in front of the police department. And that's where we are live here this morning. You can see the boarded up door, which was completely shattered in this shootout. There were also a couple of bullet holes there in that door frame. But they did clear the street and reopen it to the public just before six o'clock this morning after 11 hours of investigating. Take a look at this video from last night from high up above in our Chopper, and it really gives you an idea of just how big the scene was, how much of this area they roped off to investigate and try and figure out exactly what happened. A scene they held, as I mentioned, for 11 hours. And this is some more video from on the ground, and it shows you the cars that's believed the suspect came out of before the exchange of gunfire took place. As for what exactly happened, we only have limited information this hour. We are told that all of this happened at around 7 o'clock in the evening. That was shortly after. A woman made a 911 call asking for help because she said she was being followed. That dispatcher instructed her to come here to the La Habra Police Department. Officers were waiting, ready to answer that call. Something happened when she pulled up and someone pulled up behind him that caused that exchange of gunfire. We do not know who fired first. We do not know why, but we do know that a gun was recovered here at the scene. Unfortunately, that suspect did not survive. A police officer. Officer here with the La Habra Police Department was also shot and injured and is in critical but stable condition this morning. Folks here living in this community were certainly very shocked, surprised, and frightened when they heard the gunfire. I heard someone like drops like I heard dropped a gun now and I heard three gunshots. Oh. I saw like a person laying down. And of course, that individual, that officer that was taken to the hospital that was injured was taken to UC Irvine Medical Center, UCI Medical Center, excuse me, by officers, fellow officers. You can see them there at the hospital. Obviously, a lot of support for that injured police officer. We are told that that officer is a man. He's been on the force for about four years. We don't have a lot of information about him, whether he fired his weapon or just happened to get caught by the gunfire. All of that remains under investigation here this morning. And of course, Tina, we don't know a lot about the man who died. Someone died here on the scene. We do not know if that individual knew the woman who made that call. We don't know why he happened to be following behind her or if he was. All of that is part of this investigation, which hopefully will Learn a little bit more about later on this morning as we're still waiting for the police department to come out and give us a formal on camera statement. I'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Joy, for that update.